Hello, hello. My name is Lucy. Welcome to EFT with Lucy. Today, um, I want to bring you a couple tips when it comes to just personal transformation. My mission is to really help you feel better in your life, feel more confident with yourself, your life, and just generally improve your life. I want you to feel um, more centered, more balanced. I want you to feel like you can change the things that you really want to change in your life and just feel like your most centered, authentic um, self as you walk through your life. So when it comes to some things that we want to transform or we want to change in our life, whether it's um, having a better body image or it's sleeping more, the biggest tip that I really want to bring you today is thinking about how much our external um, environment cues internal dialogue. So this is a little bit inspired by a recent client session that I had um, where the person we were tapping with, she was we, we tapped on pain she was having in her body and she actually came out of the tapping and said, you know what just came to me as I realized I haven't been appreciating my body for all that she does like yeah I do feel like joint pain but like they're really functioning I'm really grateful that I can walk I'm grateful that I can do the things I need to to take care of myself in my life yeah maybe I'm not walking like a mile to the park but I am able to be self-sufficient and it really reminded me and her which I love is that a lot of times we can get really set in our ways of thinking as cued by different stimuluses. So stimuli, I guess you would say. So the other inspiration today was thinking about, I was talking about sleep and I want to bring a session on better sleep. Um, so that's something you'd want, please let me know in the comments below. But sometimes I, some, I sometimes deal with like insomnia or just trouble sleeping. And what is so funny is that we can really get ingrained in different ways of thinking and just expect like, oh, when I turn out the light or, oh, like I'll listen to meditation sometimes or hypnosis when I, as I fall asleep, it really helps me. Um, but I'll turn it on and be like, God, I really hope I don't listen to, I hope I don't hear it finish because I don't want to be awake in 20 minutes, right? I want to be asleep in 20 minutes. Um, but it's so interesting that we'll have all these really sensory experiences of like, oh, when I'm brushing my teeth, oh, I hope that I sleep tonight or feeling anxiety when you look at your bed because you're like, gosh, I just feel like I haven't gotten a good night's sleep or vice versa. Like with my client, um, when she was feeling the sensation of pain in her body, she was starting to criticize her body. Um, or I've had clients in the past where we work with body image and they'll, you know, have experiences where their habit is to, when they, you know, change, um, put on clothes for the day, or they go to take a shower and they see themselves in the mirror, they, again, the external stimulus is they see themselves or again, are putting on clothes and that triggers the habit of negative self talk, right? But it's so interesting because when I think about um, all the clients that I've worked with when it comes to body image, it's so funny that we think, you know, if my body just looked a different way, I would feel better about my body. I would feel more confident. I would talk more kindly to myself. But it's so interesting because even if, and I've even talked to clients where they say, you know, that didn't really change even though my body changed, my internal experience didn't change. And so I really am a firm believer that no matter what our external stimulus looks like, again, what our body looks like, if we're experiencing pain in our body, um, even if our bedroom doesn't change or whatever, um, when it comes to like sleep problems or whatever else it is, like if you get a lot of anxiety when you log into work in the morning, um, what is it that you're thinking? Like when you turn on your computer, what, what triggers in your head, right? I really want to just invite us all right now to think, what is it that is really bringing you a lot of distress or stress or um, pain, whatever it is in your life? What do you want to change? What do you want to change that pattern into? And so finishing the thought pattern with, you know, our bodies, even if our body changes, have we actually practiced the skill of self-talk? Because let me tell you, it is a skill and you don't have to wait for your body to change to practice gratitude for your body. You don't have to change um, your body to wait to have more, you know, compassionate self-talk towards your body. It doesn't mean you have to like your body. It doesn't mean, you know, there, there's a whole different conversation and again, it doesn't mean that you have to like, you know, like your job or whatever it is that you're trying to change. But I do really think that we can start now before anything externally changes, we can start now the practice of talking kinder to ourselves. Um, or again, like with this one client that I was talking about tapping on pain in, um, in her hips and in her knees that she experienced, we tapped on, you know, what if instead of criticizing my body, when I feel this pain, what if I express gratitude? for 
this, you know, for my body, for all the things it is doing for me, right? How, how life-changing is that? Instead of walking through your day feeling frustrated or anxious and like, because of these stimuli that are always going to be there, right? Especially when it comes to like our body or our job, it's like, our body's going to be there every, with you every day of your life, right? So like, instead of letting it trigger all these negative emotions or thought patterns, what if it triggered something positive instead? And what if you practice that habit, right? Whether you have body goals or not, um, and whatever it is, what if you practiced the internal dialogue that you want before the external change actually happens? So that is my tip for you today. So to break this down into practical terms, I would just invite you to, if there is something that you're trying to actively change, or you're trying to cope with or manage in your life right now, um, I'm curious what your experience is around that currently right now. And what would you like that to look like instead? So what would you like to think when you see yourself in the mirror? How would you like to be experienced? Like what mood would you like to be when you log into work, right? Um, in the morning or when you are walking and you feel some knee pain or something like that, how, how would you like to respond to that internally? Because the truth of the matter is we can't actually control our first thought. We can't control whether we have pain. We can absolutely do things to influence it, but we can't just snap our fingers and turn, you know, the pain off. We can't snap our fingers and just, you know, pray the anxiety away. That's just not how it works. We can absolutely tap it away after a few minutes, but if we could just snap our fingers and directly say, don't do this or don't feel this, I wouldn't be sitting here and we wouldn't have as many problems as we do probably um, in our lives. But all we can do, again, is respond to the first thought. We can respond to the stimulus um, or the trigger externally, small t trigger, um, externally, right? So that's all I have for you today. Let me know if you want to see anything in particular as far as a tapping sequence um, around this. But until then, I wish you the best day and I will talk to you in the next video.